Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, and we're in episode 28 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time now. And I'm back in Gerudo Valley to get the second heart piece that, he, that can be had here as a kid. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you're supposed to get this one as a kid, but you can, so I'm going to do it right now anyways. Anyways, uh, while I'm doing this stuff that I'm doing this episode, I have a few things to talk about. Um, first of which, I just thought you might be interested to know that... Okay, today is April 29th, right? Uh, it's 7 o'clock p.m. right now. So, normally I would have just gotten home from school, like, a few hours ago. But instead, I got home from school over 24 hours ago. Why is that? Because we had a snow day today. Yeah, really. A snow day. Oh, there's the heart piece, by the way. Uh, so that's three so far, so, yeah, anyways, snow day in April, late April, early, almost early May. Really, I have no comment as to how on earth that, that could ever happen anywhere but Canada. So, I guess that's just the Canadian lifestyle. Maybe I should get used to it. Hell, I've been living here all my life. I don't know why I'm not used to it by now. Okay, next thing, um... Between episode 27 and episode 28, the last episode in this episode, I have actually beaten this game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, one one time. Like, seriously, I, I just started up a random file, and I played from the start to the end in two days flat, 100% of it completely, like the way I'm going to plan on doing it in this game. And, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I just felt like doing that to refresh my memory on the game, because I haven't played it in a good year or so. So, I didn't really know a lot, and I need to get some stuff cleared up. And it's a good thing I did, because I got stuck at certain parts in the game that I wouldn't want to get stuck on during my LP, so that's good. And, uh, I also kind of figured out, at the rate I'm going, like, if I did everything exactly the way I did in that file, if I do all the same in my, uh, in this LP file, then I should be able to... To, like, this is a very rough, rough estimation I came up with. Like, I calculated all in my head. It's basically like, oh, this will take so and so many episodes to do. This will take so many so, so and so many episodes to do. Yeah, stuff like that. Um, I calculated that my LP should be roughly 100 parts instead of 130. So that's my new estimation, 100 parts, roughly. And, yeah, what I did in my LP, I mean, in my file that I played through, uh, we're just gonna wait for nighttime to come because there's a gold sculpture right here. Yay! This will be number 20, so we can go get a reward from the house of sculpture. But we're not gonna do that for just right yet. Anyways, um, so yeah. Oh, what was I talking about just a second ago? Yeah, the way I did it in my in that file is I play. I basically every after I completed every dungeon, I did everything that was possible to do with the new items that I had and stuff and new techniques, I guess, and, yeah, and, and then, basically, after the first few dungeons, I just kept going with the story, and it didn't really take all that long at all, so I think that's what I'm going to do in my LP file, if you want me to just separate the side quests up between temples, just let me know, and I can do that, because, I don't know, you might get bored if there's too much story or too much side quest going on at one time. Anyways, this is this guy here. This is I am Bunuru, the Scarecrow, musical genius. I I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. Oh yeah, well, let's pull out our ocarina. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you play lay a tune on me, baby? Okay, so let's go with this one. That one should be easy to remember. This won't be useful until much later in the game. So um, yeah, but I'm just gonna get it out of the way now that I'm here. Anyways, uh, what else do I have to do? Oh yeah, I have to go and do this mini game. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever if I don't get extremely lucky here. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover for now. So let's start talking about what's actually going on in the game. So far, I picked up a sculpture, a heart piece, and we have um, and we got the scarecrow song all set up for us. So this is the fishing pond, and we want to talk to this guy, and he's like, Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Sure. Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. Oh, poor me. Well, that's just because it doesn't recognize the rumble feature that my game control automatically has. This time, no rumble for you. He, he, well, he basically tells you here how to fish. I'll, I can explain that to you much quicker than he can to understand. Yeah. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only one fish. There's only one fish that we're going to want to keep. The biggest fish, because that'll get us a piece apart from here. 
So anyways, uh, oh yeah, on top, on piece of hearts, when I did my, like, full game run through, I found that before the next dungeon, I can get ten heart, like, ten heart containers exactly, which would be actually pretty good. Oh, let's see here. What the hell's going on over there? Is, the, is that fish, like, splashing out of the water? I don't know. Well, anyways, you can press B to cast out your line, and you pull, and you reel it in with A. You can hold R at the same time as A if you want, just to... Oh my goodness, what the hell? Yeah, and to reel a fish in, you hold A and pull the control stick back, or like hold down the control stick, and you want to catch like a 10 or 11 pound fish, and I can tell you right now this isn't it, this is like 2 pounds or something. Uh, yeah, it's about 2 pounds. Do I want to keep it? No. But yeah, basically, that's how you have to get a piece of heart from here. So this can be very tedious and take a very long time. I might just cut it at some point here. I don't know. If I get really lucky and this might be the guy, actually, I can't really tell. But, oh my goodness. Oh, let's see if I get really lucky here. Come on, let me do this. Let me get as lucky as I did in the bomb tree bowling out. Holy crap, this guy's actually big. Is, is this really the guy? Could I possibly be so lucky to get this within, like, two or three minutes? I'm just getting here. I couldn't possibly be that lucky now, could I? What? Uh, wow, this is a real longer. Let's see, it weighs 10 pounds. Oh my god. I got it on my second fish. Yes, I want to keep it. Um, I was about to explain, too, that the big fish is usually, like, right in the middle of the pond. At least it has been for me pretty much every time. So yeah, once you've gotten the 10 or 11 pounder, it was 11 pounder in my other file, but I'll settle for 10 pounds easy. You want to go over to go over here and talk to this guy, and he's like, "What do you want?" Well, can can you be a little bit nicer in phrasing that? Whatever. Uh, I want. Let's talk about something. Whatever. Wait, my fish. Whoa, whoa, dude! I'm Funky Kong. This fish is huge. This looks like a new record. Let's see it. Wait. It weighs at least 10 pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. And that's a piece of heart. Completing another heart container, putting us up to nine heart p hearts. Hey, yeah, uh, yeah, I have to return the rod. I always forget to do that. Like, I always come here, get him to weigh my fish, get my reward, and then try to leave. But no, I have to tell him I want to quit. Well, yeah. Uh, hopefully we won't have to ever come back here again. But I'm telling you right now that you will. Trust me. Okay, so there's only one other thing that I wanted to try, at least. Oh, by the way, um, I didn't explain this, but if you hold B down while you're swimming, you'll go a little bit faster. It's not really noticeable too much, but it's kind of useful. Anyways, yeah, there's one more thing I want to do. Like, one maybe not so quick thing that I want to do before moving on with the story. Yeah, trust- uh, yeah, I know you want me to get on with the story. This is like ten parts later than most people start getting on with the story. I just, I'm a completionist like that, I want to make sure I get everything done as soon as I possibly freaking can. So anyways, we're going to go back to Castletown, actually, and we are going we are going to attempt the treasure chest game. I know that there is an item later on in the game that you get, like, much later on in the game, that allows you to basically cheat at the treasure chest game and get it on your first try regardless of whatever, but I kind of like to do it legitimately, like, I, after a long time, I actually did it in my run through file which I've never done before I always just waited until I got that certain item but now I just after doing that I kind of want to try it in my LP file too I might just dedicate a whole episode to that or at least a fast forward segment to the next episode to that because I don't know it can take a while unless I get extremely lucky like I just did with like oh my god I'm like, like I'm having so much luck in this LP yeah I kind of just went off on a tangent there but seriously did, have you seen this this is like First, the bomb tree bowling alley, and now this, the fishing game, that usually takes a good 10-20 minutes to complete. I would normally take a full video or more to complete. Like, just go watch Nintendo Capri Sun do that same mini game. It takes him so freaking long that he has to fast forward through most of it. Anyways, um, so yeah, we're just about out of time here, but I'm not gonna end it off quite yet because we still have a good minute and a half or so. So I'll probably just get to Castletown, play the Sun Song, because you can only play this mini game at night in Castletown. And then we'll probably start it in the next episode. I'll basically explain how it goes, and if it takes too long, I'll fast forward it or cut it or something. I'll do whatever I can, but hopefully I'll get lucky with the gap with these past few mini games. 
And we're sorry for this episode basically just be me explaining a bunch of stuff. I know that's kind of boring for you to listen to. I might as well play the Sun Song now. Yeah, and I have one more thing that I'm going to want to talk about, but that'll be... I guess that I'll do that while I'm playing through the Treasure Chest minigame late, like in the next episode. So, yeah. Uh, I guess that's it for this very boring and bland episode. Well, it wasn't too boring. We got a lot of progress done, so that's always good. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you tolerated this episode until the very end, I commend you on that. You deserve a cookie. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.